This is Jason D. Board of the Original Prop Blog. And today we're going to take a look at a new book published by a friend of mine. It's called the Friday the 13th Props Museum. It's featuring the collection of Mario Kerner, who's the author. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a big horror film guy. <laughs> I, I think I've seen the very first Friday the 13th film. Um, but Mario has been a friend of mine going all the way back to when I first started collecting original props, like back in, I don't know, 2002, 2003. Um, I learned of Mario via the movie prop forum. And, um, you know, he was obsessed with this movie, Friday the 13th. <laughs> and, you know, it seems like a lot of collectors you know, they might concentrate on a particular film for a while and then they kind of move on to something else, you know, with the exception of a few big franchises like Star Wars guys tend to be Star Wars guys. Star Trek guys tend to be Star Trek guys. Um, Mario's the only Friday the 13th guy that I know. Uh, he's been really consistent about that. And he, over the years, has put together this super impressive collection and you know, Mario is one of those guys where, you know, people have kind of online personas and you think, okay, that's sort of his online persona, but I wonder what he's like in real life. And then, you know, I'd see these strange photos of like some kind of basement where he's got these hockey masks and machetes and stuff. <laughs> and I don't know, I never really knew what to make of the guy. And then, um, Back in, geez, it must have been, I don't know. I'm so bad with dates. It must have been like 2010, 2011. Um, I was meeting a friend of mine in London, and we we're going to travel around England for some concerts. And then Mario, um, he decided to meet up with us for part of the trip. And it was interesting because he, in real life, was was everything, everything I kind of came to knew of the guy from uh, talking to him online and seeing him post about his collection. So he's the real deal. He's real genuine. Um, he's really funny, which, you know, you don't really expect that from guys that are into horror movies, but he has made me laugh a lot over the years. Um, super nice guy, very passionate about collecting and he's always had very high standards about authentication and research and um, making sure things are correct and have, you know, um, you know, he really vets pieces in his collection. And, you know, it's it's been really impressive. And he's also done a great job kind of... Um, taking good care of the pieces in his collection with which, you know, a lot of people don't think about too much. Um, so he kind of hits, hits all the marks on what's important for people who collect things and kind of, um, preserve them. And, you know, in, in his work in amassing this collection of Friday, the 13th pieces, the funny thing is he ended up becoming a resource for the guys making the sequels because he had all this knowledge about the fine details about the masks and sort of the evolution of the costumes and whatnot. So anyway, he sent me this book and funny enough, he actually approached me earlier this year asking for help in editing it and making sure there aren't any weird, um, translation issues because Mario is from Germany. So um, I had a lot of fun working with him on this book, at least in a small part, kind of translating from Mario German <laughs> to his version of, um, you know, writing in English. And there's little weird things that happen with characters on German keyboards and things like that. So it was a really interesting process for me. Um, so I've actually, I'm very familiar with this book just because I had to go through and read it quite a few times just, um, as part of the editing process. So if there's any mistakes, it's probably my fault. You can blame me, but, um, you know, even if you're not into Friday the 13th, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that are, that would love this book, 
it's a great example of, um, you know, someone's story about getting involved in props and, you know, interacting with the people that worked on the film and all the things that we deal with as collectors. And, you know, he did a really awesome job putting this together. I'm super proud of him. So I wanted to just um, kind of flip through and give you an idea of what it looks like. You can buy this uh, on his website directly and I'll have links in the description for that. And, um, you know, it's a great little book. The one thing that surprised me is actually the size of it. I actually expected it. It's funny because, you know, I spent all this time looking at it digitally. I finally got it today and I'm like, oh, this is such a cute little book. It's it's actually nice because it's not one of those massive books where it's like, what do I do with it? It's a great size. So let's pop this, this guy open here. And, um, you know, it's it's super high quality. You know, he put a lot of thought into the art direction of it and the layout. Um, his photography is amazing. Like you can see, you know, he's got real beautiful creative shots of his collection. Like, you know, the stuff probably never looked this good on the set. Like it just looks really awesome. Um, he's got um, a really good sense of style. Like I love this shot of the mask. That's awesome. And he's got a forward here from Jason Parker from the Friday the 13th franchise.com website. And another one from uh, Peter, I believe it's Bracky, who wrote a book, Crystal Lake Memories, The Complete History of Friday the 13th. You know, it's a great little community. Like, you know, and Mario's really at the center of it with his collection. So it's, it's really cool. Um, he's got a foreword here kind of explaining his background and kind of how he came into collecting this stuff. And then he just goes through like um, film by film. So I believe he started with part six, Jason Lives. And yeah, there's a lot of parts. I never realized how many, how many sequels there were. But you can see it's, it's a beautiful book. Um, he's got really nice, large photo spreads and then information about each piece. And you also learn a lot about the film itself, the filmmaking process. So even if you're not a prop collector, you're a Friday the 13th fan, like you're going to learn a lot about um, the filmmaking process and, and uh, the evolution of the costume, the character, different um, appearances of the character and the props, like with this Alice Cooper album, you know, where he did a song for one of the movies. Um, he's got these great pullout, and I didn't set my camera up quite right for this, but he's got these great gatefold photos. You know, I don't want to give away the whole book, but I mean, you get an idea. It's, it's just really clean, really beautiful. Um, you know, I wish more people had as much dedication as um, Mario does, because a lot of, you know, this is what a lot of it's about for people is um, preserving the stuff, but also sharing it with people. That's the thing. People, it's great. People collect this stuff and preserve it because, you know, the, the movie studios could never do that with everything. But, you know, it's great to be able to share it with other fans. So, um, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. If you're a fan of film um, and prop collecting Friday the 13th, any of those things, you know, it might be something that interests you. Like I said, I'm not a Friday the 13th guy, but I was really fascinating reading all this stuff. And it really gave me a, a good appreciation for um, what Mario has accomplished with his collecting. And, you know, to take the time to, to put together a book like this, um, you know, I think it is really speaks volumes to what he's tried to accomplish through his own collecting and, um, you know, it's, it's interesting having helped to edit the book. He, um, he's interacted with so many people that worked on the films. It's just really, really impressive. So, um, you know, like I said, I'll put a link in the description and on the original prop blog, 
with um, information if you're interested in ordering this book. But, uh, you know, I'm biased. I'm a friend of Mario's and, you know, I helped him out a little bit with this book. But, um, you know, support your fellow collectors. Yeah, he actually had me write up a little thing here as well. So now I can say I'm famous. But thanks for uh, checking this out. And, you know, I give it really high recommendations. And I'd like to thank Mario for letting me in be involved a little bit and for sending me a copy of it. And uh, thanks for checking out this video. And um, that's all I have to say about that. Thanks.